Hey guys, what's happening? You all right? And today we're gonna make a pizza. You, you can do at home as well. Uh, in six hours timing, we're gonna do Polish method. And uh, it's gonna be interesting pizza for you. So for this pizza, I'm gonna use 200 grams of water and three grams of dry yeast. So I'm gonna put the dry yeast inside the water and I'm gonna mix it up a little bit just to make the foam to activate the yeast. Okay. Give it to be shake so you can see start to forming and activate the dry yeast. Alright, so now I'm gonna add another 200 grams of flour. I use a this type of flour, W350, protein around 14%. So we're gonna put it on the scale and we're gonna add another 200 grams. Put to zero. Good. 200 grams water, 200 grams of flour. Okay, we need it there. There we go. Then we go another 100 gram. We're gonna put later in four hours time. And now I'm gonna mix together to make great kind of cream paste. in a couple of minutes to make this first part of your polish to make is a prefermented so you make your pizza better taste and lights there we go so that's creamy okay now I'm gonna wrap it with the clean film where's the clean film is here We're gonna give a rest for four hours at room temperature. Should be double it very soon. Okay, make sure that. Okay. And now we're gonna give a rest for four hours at room temperature. Okay, now after four hours, I'm gonna remove the clean film. As you can see, our fermentation pool is, is bubbling, we double it and uh, I'm gonna add another 100 grams of flour and with a spoon okay. I'm gonna add 5 grams of sea salt okay. I'm gonna incorporate all the flour together I'm gonna add the five grams of olive oil just a little bit and now I'm gonna finish now on top of the table. It's a great method to do your pizza at home in no long time. all the flowers give this kind of folding there you go stay ready it's nice and soft so it's very important to make this kind of folding you pull it and then you stretch like that there you go 
you can make two or three pizza, depending on your side of your pizza. You're gonna make it possibly two pizzas of 250 grams each. There you go. Look. Make just a little batch today just to show you how to make a pizza home. Or if you wanna make for your business, you double the recipe as you prefer. And now I'm gonna give a rest just for half an hour and then I'm gonna cut it. Okay, now give a little bit rest and we're gonna make two. Where's the spatula? I'm gonna wait, probably it's around 500 grams. Yes, 504 grams. So we're gonna make two pizzas of 250 each. Okay, so this one, yep, 230. Okay, so then I'm gonna fold it like that. If it's a bit sticky, wet your hand or put some flour on your, and then you're gonna put it on the tray. Okay, and make sure always you squeeze at the bottom of the pizza so don't make any holes otherwise will be when you're stretching will be thin it's gonna go i'm gonna put a little bit semolin on top to avoid stick with the clean film and then we're gonna give a rest for two hours when it give double so we're gonna wrap it so put some Semolin on top to avoid when you remove the clean film, it will pull all the pizza, it will damage. And then we're gonna bake it very soon. Okay, so give a rest around two hours. Okay, now, as you can see, look at that, massive. We're gonna remove the clean film. See, always a little bit sticky, even when you put the off, it's not gonna damage. See, sometimes when it's proving. Oh la la. Okay, you see, that's why I always said put flour. It was nearly too stick and make it really messy. Okay, so we're gonna take one. It's very soft now. We're gonna put on top of the flour. Okay. So I'm gonna work gently to the top of the flower, just like that. And we're gonna make uh, our margarita, just a simple margarita like that, yeah? Okay. There we go. With basil and some mozzarella. All right. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil. That's it. So we're gonna put in our oven. It's very soft, guys. You have to very carefully feel when you manage to kind of do like that. Final stretch. Straight to the oven. So this type of method called Polish fermented so it's very easy if you want to do pizza in a short time uh, at least around six hour timing you can get nice tasty pizzas normally I do 24 hours with my sourdough pizzas but they just for it's a quick way to go great results you can still make nice pizzas You want to cook a little bit longer, around one minute, one twenty seconds, just to make sure it dries off nicely. All the pizza, it's 250 grams, so give a little bit more longer time. Look the cross, it's growing very quickly. It's got 
lovely color. It's going pink. Our pizza is nearly ready. I like nice brownie color. Our pizza is ready. I see the crust. We're gonna cut it. See what's got enough air inside. I'm gonna use a scissor. Let's see. As you can see. Look. Let's see here as well. Nice and hairy. We're gonna cut another side as well. Always see all parts. See here as well. So nice and hairy. And that's my pizza for today, guys. If you make pizza in six hours time with nice fermentation polish, you get nice result. We're gonna give a try as well now. It's quite hot. See, fiery, crunchy, crispy. And that's my pizza for you guys for today. Very simple to make it, no complicates. Hope you like this video, then uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you are new to the channel, subscribe if you like it. Thank you.